Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about how to connect a PoE injector to a network switch. Well you can see right here I have a connected network and the indicators here means there's no power going through this camera now. In this video I'll show you guys how to add this injector to the system and it can power the IP camera through this one ethernet cable. All right, first we have to have the knowledge of what is the PoE system. The PoE system is mainly two parts, the P power supply equipment and the power device. Power device usually is like an IP camera right here. It receives the power and data. It's like a terminal device. And the power supply equipment, like our PoE injector and some PoE switches, they provide the power to terminal devices so they can kind of like supply the power for all the functions. So right here I have a PoE injector and this video we're going to mainly talk about the PoE injector. If you guys want to know more about the PoE switch you can look at our previous videos. So what is a PoE injector? A PoE injector to these systems which do not have PoE features it injects the power to the ethernet and then it powers the IP cameras, the terminal devices, power devices through this one single ethernet cable. It's pretty convenient. And why should we choose PoE injectors? Well, there's a lot of advantages, like one, it's convenience. Like these systems, when we want to add like power to it, we don't have to use another like cap uh, power cable. We can just add this to the system. We can save another cable and it will be very convenient, mobilized. And we don't have to like disarm the whole thing. We can just simply add this between the network, main network and the power device. And secondly, these little injectors, they don't run on high voltages, they run on low voltages and they are very safe because they have initial handshakes built in. So they will check what your terminal device needs and send the correct amount. Also they're cost efficient. Like say you only have like one or two devices you wanna power up. It's not very worth it if you wanna go and buy a big PoE switch. You can just use one or two of these injectors and it'll figure, fix your problem. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is gonna use this, and you guys can see right here, there's no indicators blinking. That means this whole camera is not receiving any power, so it's not functioning. And this router here is functioning, so we can know the PoE, the ethernet, is not sending power. So now let's connect them. So now first, you kind of have to disconnect the camera with the router. Then let's plug in our injector and we can, it's really simple. We can just plug it to the output of the alternate current. You can see the indicator is on power. And now what we have to do is connect it to our router. Remember to connect it to the LAN out the input. This inputs the data to this little thing. And then we're gonna use this. You can you guys can use longer cords. I'm just gonna use a short patch so these two are closer together. Doesn't look messy. So now after the data comes in here, it gets together with the power and it comes PoE. So the PoE output we connect it with the camera. And voila, you can see right here. There's an indicator on, so that means this camera is currently powering up. Another good thing about PoE injector is that, you know, it can raise the limits of your network. It can go all the way up to 95 watts or 10 giga gigabit bandwidth. So it kind of raises our limits. So our camera is turning on, the indicator is still on. It means this whole network system is functioning properly. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any more comments or questions, leave them at the section below. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.